Okay, so I've decided to buy another air pump. Um, this one is to replace the Charles Austin ET80 that I've got that's running the bio and the air curtain. And then I'm going to use the ET80 to run my um, centre dome aerator um, on a timer just to come on for a couple of hours each day just to give a bit of a boost to the circulation in the pond. Um, so I thought I'd try this one rather than get another Charles Austin because the wattage looks to be lower. Um, 60 watts it says on the box, 100 litres a minute. Um, I've had people say that some of the Jacob pumps are not as powerful as some of the branded pumps like the Charles Austin or the high blows so I went up a rating on the ET80 that it's replacing because I could probably use a little bit of extra air going into the air curtain as well. So I'll we'll see how this one performs. Um, I'll put a watt meter on it and see what watts it actually draws when it's running um, compared to what it's stated at. I know me ET80 doesn't use anything like the 85 watts that it's rated at and it runs at about 65 on my meter so I'll compare the two and see what the uh, rating works out at. It's certainly not a very light pump. And what we get here? The manifolder I won't use, the rubber boot that I will. A couple of spring clips to hold that on. Outlet looks a reasonable size, it's not going to provide too much restriction. It looks quite solid, it's certainly heavy enough. I'll get that set up then and uh, see how it works compared to the ET80. We'll start off by having a look at what kind of air output I'm getting from the ET80 that's running at the moment. That's the bio boiling. And that's the kind of output I'm getting from the air curtain. We'll see if I get a similar or larger output once I've connected up the new JCOD MA100 pump. Just comparing the two sides of pumps, they uh, they feel a similar kind of weight, and this one's Jake are slightly smaller than the uh, Charles Austin. They're a similar kind of size, and I'd say a pretty similar kind of weight. That one might be slightly heavier. Off 
pull that wire up to another point. I'll test it out for now. Well, then give it a big turn on and see what it does. You know, that boy definitely needs turning down a bit. stronger pump than the 80 in the 100 but certainly no less powerful um, noise wise I think it's probably a little bit quieter than, than the Charles Austin and that has been running for a while so it was quieting down a lot which this will probably do once this has been running for a, a few weeks yeah, certainly quieter and certainly more powerful. Plenty enough to run the bio and the air curtain. And I'll make another space up and set this up on a timer to run the bottom drain aeration. Yeah. I'll do some tests in a minute and see what kind of wattage it's drawing compared to what it stated. running at 59 watts which is a lot less than the 85 that's rated at but it's producing a lot less air than the, uh, the MA100 so I'd say they're about half of the course energy wise that's producing less air but it's using less watts so 59.3 watts running a lot less air actually through it so this is the JCOD MA100 running off the that meter So it's pulling 67 watts. So that's slightly higher than the 60 watts it's rated at. But it is producing a lot more air than, a, than an ET80 is. Running at 
67.8 watts. So using seven or eight more watts than the ET80, but providing uh, quite a bit more air as well. So watt for watt, about the same, I'd say. A bit slightly more powerful pump, obviously the MA100 over the ET80. It's certainly a bit quieter and uh, quite a bit cheaper at. Uh, £99 delivered. So there with the, with the new pump up and running. Locked in nice and neatly with some 12mm LLDPE and 12mm John Guest as well. 12mm push fit fittings. So overall it's a little bit quieter than the ET80 and putting out a little bit more air. Um, hopefully when that wears in and breaks in a bit it will uh, get a bit quieter as well as the ET80 did when that was brand new. It made a hell of a racket.